Welcome to Dispute Fox. In this video we will show you how to set up your company details, branding, client agreements, merchant account, and business email address. Start by clicking on Settings, where you will see your company information. Here you can complete your name, address, phone number, and website address. When adding your website, be sure to include both the HTTP forward slash forward slash and the www part. Once added, you can click in the box below to automatically create your customized client portal name. Once saved, you will need to log out and back in again to see it. This is what you will add to your website as the client login link. After logging back in, you will be able to copy this new link on the top right of the page under settings. Next you can update or add team profiles depending on which plan you have. If you would like to add new team members, just send us an email to info at disputefox.com with the request. You have the ability to restrict what each team member can see in the software, as well as options to have them only see leads or clients they are assigned to. We have a dedicated video on how to set up and manage users. Next we will add your logo under the Portal Settings section. Here you can click to upload your logo file, ideally in a rectangular shape, around 600 pixels wide so it shows up best in all emails, client portal, mobile app, credit analysis and progress reports. Below this you can add your own custom affiliate link for whichever credit monitoring company you use. Once added, anytime a new lead is entered, an automatic email will go out with your link to sign up for credit monitoring. Lastly, you can choose which required ID documents you prefer clients uploaded inside the client portal once you have onboarded them. Next you can set your default pricing for the client agreement. You will still be able to override these amounts on the client file prior to onboarding them. If you would like to edit the default client agreement, you can do that right here. When you're ready to set up your merchant account to take advantage of our fully integrated billing system, you can add your authorized.net or NMI-based merchant account here. There is a full video on how to integrate each of these options. Finally, you will need to integrate your email address for all outbound customer email communications and updates. While still in settings, navigate to the email, SMS or Zapier tab. Then click on Email Configuration. If you are still on the free trial, this option will become available once you upgrade to the paid version. Here you can choose to set up either your Google Gmail account or your Microsoft Outlook or Office 365 account. In this example, we will show you how to set up Gmail, but Microsoft Outlook setup is almost identical. Click the button to begin the setup process. Log in using the same email address you want customers to see, along with the matching password. Allow all the API permissions. Once done click on the continue and close the window. Finally, you will see step 2 appear with a flashing red button to click to make it live system-wide. You can change this email setup at any time by simply clicking disconnect and then logging in with the new email address, just like before. If you do not use Gmail or Outlook, please submit a ticket via the bottom right of the screen with your domain name login details and the email address you want to use, and our team will assist you with the setup. Congratulations, you have now completed the initial setup for DisputeFox. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more training and help videos.